hello guys welcome back to get show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix can't connect to server multiplayer and connectivity issue on call of duty modern warfare 2 and how we can completely fix this app so the first one what you have to do is just have to follow a 10 to 13 steps around you have to try out and that might be working out so before that if you're for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for these kind of helpful videos. So let me directly move to the workaround. The first one, you just have to check the server outages. That is what you have to do. If you wanted to check on the status of server, you just have to uh, go over here and you just have to search for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and you have to search server status. You can just check or else you can go for uh, the thing is you can directly go for any kind of Twitter or social media where you will be able to know whether they're going through any kind of server issues or things right now as you can see this is all platforms are online because they're not having any trouble so the server issues is actually on their hands we can't do anything from our end so it's all to be fixed from their side so you just have to wait if you are having the server issue if that is not the case we have to move to the next one next one is all about we have to restart PC for that you just have to go over here you have to right click over here just before you start PC actually restarting the PC is actually a big solution for many of the issues many people think this is actually a very tiny step and they don't give much importance but this worked and helped many of the users so you can go for restart PC and that is what you have to try moving to the third step is all about you have to make sure the date time zone and regions are correct that is very important if you go over here today the date is 5th november 11 and the date and time is around 6 36 am so that is very important and also it is quite important that uh, the time should be and region and everything should be correct for that if you wanted to set this up or if you wanted to check by yourself you have to go to settings now from here you just have to go over here click on time and language now from here as you can see the date and time so you can set the date and time over here i have already set this to the time zone to chennai kolkata mumbai also i have set automatically is turn it on if this is turn it off you just have to turn this on so that automatically the date and time will be accurate and also you have to set the region if you go to the language and region from here you will be able to find the region okay so you have to make sure that you're on the respective correct country of origin should be correct so these are the basic steps so this have to must be correct that is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program and also windows firewall settings that is very important because this worked for many of the users for that you just have to go over here that is for the first one that is we just have to set it up for antivirus program for that you just have to go over here in the search go to settings now from here you just have to go over here on privacy and security now from go over here on windows security now you'll be getting an option called virus and threat protection as you can see just click on this one so here there is an option where you can add virus and threat protection so here as you can see there is uh, many options like this so here what you have to just click on manage ransomware protection so here you just have to go over here so just go for uh, changes now when you turn this on you have to select the folder so that you can add for that there is an option called allow an app through controlled folder access just click on this one go for yes add an allowed app and just go for uh, recently uh, browse all apps now from here just go to this pc means you have to navigate to where the game is installed for here you just have to go to local to see now from here you just have to click on users sorry not users you have to uh, i think we have to click on program files 86 now from here scroll down and navigate to steam now just scroll down a little bit and go for steam apps select common now go to call of duty hq now from here as you can see this is cod that is uh, 29 around 29 gb so you have to select this one go for open so that as you can see the cod.exe is successfully been done with us now this is the first step and next one is all about you have to do the same for windows firewall for that you just have to close this let me close this 
go over here search for control panel now open this over here in the control panel you have to navigate to system security now over here as you can see click on windows defender firewall now let me maximize this if you do this this will be like this now from here you just have to click on turn windows defender firewall on or off click on this one now from here as you can see private network settings public network settings so you have to do this you just have to select it from here also you can modify this accordingly your need you can block the respective app and all these things you can do this by yourself so you have to set this up from here simultaneously if you wanted to add allow an app if you wanted to add the respective one so you have to click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall for that you just have to click over here now as you can see you'll be getting an option like this and this is very important that is private and public so i'll i'll tell you that what is in the next video so if you wanted to add something we just have to do is we just have to click on change settings so uh, sorry let me close this so what do we have to do is we just have to as you can see these are the available ones right now so you just have to scroll down to find call of duty call of duty will be here anywhere else somewhere it will be there so you just have to uh, sorry as you can see here it is call of duty modern warfare so it is if it is unchecked which means it is not there in the windows defender firewall so you have to tick it like this it means it should be checked and also you have to set the both that is private and public and you just have to go to this you have to make sure this is checked and that is also good once it is done you just have to go back to the steam and you have to try to launch the game and that might be working out moving to the next one is all about that is all about you have to run few commands on the cmd command prompt for those commands will be given in the description so you don't have to worry so here i'll copy pasting the command so this is the command okay so i'll copy paste in this command so this command i'll be giving the video description so you don't have to worry once i copy i'll search for command prompt and every time when you're running some programs like this run it as an administrator once go for yes and you just have to control paste it okay once it's the command is pasted successfully just press enter now most probably you have to wait a little bit of time so that the, it will be working out like this we received a message like okay it is all good so you have to run this this is very important after trying this you just have to check whether you are able to fix the issue or not if it's not working just move to the next one next one is all about you have to disable manual proxy for that you just have to go over here go to settings now go to network and internet now from here what you have to do is you just have to do is in most probably there you can see the proxy is there you have to select this and as you can see use a proxy server okay so automatically proxy server is set up so you just have to turn this off that is very important and also in some cases as i think it is on windows 11 or something the manual uh, it is fine okay not here it is not there i am using both the windows 10 and 11 so i get a little bit of confused so in the proxy make sure this is turned off that is very important you have to disable it you have to completely disable it that is very important and move to the next one is all about you have to run few commands i mean you have to run the network troubleshooter for that you just have to go over here on the search and go to settings now from here you just have to go to system you are on the system so scroll down and you will be getting an option to troubleshoot select this one now go for other troubleshooters now from here what you have to do is you will be you have to run the troubleshooter on network adapter for that you just have to go over here as you can see just click on run so that what happens is if any problems are there you can select the respective one just go for next if any problems are there they will be fixing from there and itself so we don't have to do anything so that is very important so network adapters you have to run the troubleshoot and you have to fix it up if they are going through any kind of issue and you just have to do this and moving to the next one is all about we have to do or run few more commands in the cmd so i'll be providing this also in the description so we have to do this one by one so as you can see we are having many commands so i'll be copying these commands and i'll be going over here on i'll be closing this i'll do it once again i'll go to cmd right click run and ad administrator go for yes so i'll paste first one i'll press enter so it is successfully done so i'll go for this one so i'll go for that is ip config release so i'll go for this one i'll paste enter i'll press enter so i'll move to the next one 
that is IP config renew. So I'll click on this one. I'll go for this. Enter. Now I'll go for. Uh, I'll go for next. That is uh, IP net sock wind sock reset. I think. So I'll just paste it. Press enter. So let's move to the next one. That is wind IP reset. So I'll just paste it. So we have to go to next one. That is interface uh, reset IPv4. So I'll click on this one. I'll press enter. Now I'll go for next one. That is net sheets interface. So I'll go for this one. And move to the next one. Last and least one. This one. So just copy these commands one by one and just paste it and run it. That is what you have to. So as you can see, reset all these parameters are okay. It is all done. Once you just close this and go to the Steam and try to launch, might be working. If it's not scenario, if it's still having the issue, the next is all about you have to perform a network reset. For performing a network reset, it is must to know that if you do this, you will be losing the Wi-Fi password. And if you don't know that, you should be knowing it or else you'll be having the trouble. So you just have to go over here. That means you have to reconnect it back once again. So go to settings. Now go to network and internet. From here, just go to in Windows 10. It will be available here itself. But in Windows 11, you have to click on advanced network settings. Now there is an option called network reset. Just select this and go for network reset. So it is very important that whatever you are connected to it, network adapters and other network components back to original settings. So you have to reinstall it as well as if you wanted to connect the Wi-Fi, you have to do it once again from the start. That means you have to connect it, you have to give the password and all those things. So you just have to remember it. That is what you have to do. And moving to the next one is all about what we have to do all when all trying all these things is you have to try with a new network for example if you're on the wi-fi like this as you can see you have to try with connecting with another wi-fi and you have to try to launch the game and see whether you're able to fix and if it's not working you have to update your windows that is very important for updating the windows just go to settings and go over here on windows update at the bottom and make sure that you're on the up to date as you can see this is up to date so simultaneously you have to make sure that you're on the up to date version which is very important and if having any update just update it and move to the next one is all about you have to update the game for updating the game most probably when we'll be getting an option to update the game that is fine if it's not that the scenario you can update it by yourself by without knowing it for you just have to do a little bit thing like you just have to right click and go to properties go over here on the update and keep, select this you'll be having three options always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it high priority always auto update the game before others so either you can set this to always keep this game updated or else you can set this to high priority but what happens is even if it's your PC is you're working on something else, this will be updating so there will be an issue with the network so it will be slow or some other issue so make sure that always keep this game updated so whenever the updates are available and it is frequently popping up it will get updated that is the thing what you have to do moving to the next one apart from this is all about you have to repair the game file that is verify integrity of game file that is quite important because if any files are corrupted they will be fixing the issue for that you just have to go to the steam and navigate to library from here select the respective game and right click and go to properties now from here logo to local files there is an option called verify integrity of game files you just have to select this one so what happens is if any files are being completely uh, used up or if it is having some missing files and corrupted this will be fixing from their end this is very important step and do not uh, neglect this this is very important and this will be working on many cases and this has worked so this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful when it comes to how to fix this so if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye